Hello everybody, it's itemwalk217 and today we're doing something quite different. I'm using a different camera for this video, so I hope this quality is going to be good enough for you guys. Anyways, um, we are doing a review of the LEGO Marvel Spider-Man mech. So I've already pre-owned this and built this for about a month now. You know, I got this before the LEGO store closed, but um, yeah. I'd say it's a pretty solid figure. Lots of detailing. Uh, main reason I got it, first Spider-Man minifigure I have owned, and because of these awesome spider pieces. And that and I love mechs. So, if you want to know what the exclusive spider pieces are, you get two of these uh, web things that are on his shoulders. Like that. And those have double-ended... I don't know, grips for the minifigure to hold on. You also get this uh, web spraying piece. But, yeah, you also get this one right here. Those fit nicely into a Technic pin, and honestly, my first complaint already, this piece falls off so easily. It could just be the way that I built it, or I don't know. It's, it's always been an issue for me. It does have a nice selection of stickers. You know, two on the feet, uh, and two on the shoulders. Another issue I'd have to complain about for this set slash mech figurine thing, um, is, the, you see these spider claw things at the back? They are extremely difficult to get leveled out and evenly posed, if that makes any sense, because, like, Honestly, there's always just something, and they're just so flimsy It to just... Ugh. It's one of my biggest issues with this set. Uh, he does come with an extra weight for Spider-Man to hold on to. As you can see, this opens up like that. Spider-Man minifigure, nothing too special. He wasn't. He's pretty common to get in almost any other Spider-Man set. But yeah, he comes with this extra... Weights, or whatever the heck you want to call it. Clips on like that. And you just make them lift webs. I don't know. Um, there's even a clip right here, if you can see. You can clip his hand onto. So that you can make it like a club. I have no idea. Um, you even get these uh, translucent pieces that can clip on his hands. Therefore... You can literally just go to the mech, take off one of the web pieces, and put it on Spider-Man himself. Make it look like he's shooting the webs rather than the mech. Now those can get quite clunky for him and weigh him down. You kind of have to play around with how it's displayed and such. But if you're wondering, okay, well, these things have nowhere to be stored. I personally just shove it right in the sides here, and that just looks fine as it is. You know, nothing too shabby, I guess. Again, don't really like this right here. It's an okay $15 Canadian set, but I just... Unless you're getting it for some other reason than my reasoning, because it was a cheap way to get Spider-Man and these web pieces, then, I don't know, I I would recommend this figure if that's what you're going for, but other than that, I, I can't really say I would, unless you're a hard-time Spider-Man, hardcore Spider-Man fan. But, yeah... He does plug into this black piece right here, like so, and that just holds him in decently. And this is a printed 1x2 uh, tile piece, the Spider-Man logo, nice iron bar piece. And uh, one thing I guess I should mention is this Technic, not, oh, not Technic, this uh, joint right there with this camera focus, there you go, it basically restricts where you can turn the figure so that's about as far as you can turn it so again as I'm trying to s display this figure for you guys you can see the spider legs or detailing is just ugh, absolute trash uh, but yeah would I recommend this figure if you're a hardcore spider-man fan yeah if you want to get a spider-man figure absolutely if you want to get those Spider-Man pieces, yeah, it's worth it because it's cheap, $15, you know, 2019 set, but 
That's all I guess I really have to say about this set. I do yet don't like it. Like, it has many things I hate about it, yet at the same time I love about it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this, and hit the notification bell once you subscribe, where you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Anyways, that's it for this review, and I'll see you all in the next video.